Is there a right way to clean your ears? Let's talk about it. Welcome back to You Heard It Here with Dr. Gary. On this channel, we give some ear-related information, we entertain with earwax removals, and we even provide some business advice and growth advice for individuals operating small businesses, especially in the medical field. This is earwax removal vlog number 90. Today, you're gonna see me clean out three different patients' ears, all of whom are extreme Q-tippers. So the question is, is there a right way or more importantly, a wrong way to clean out your ears. Let's start with the wrong way. Anytime you're putting anything down the ear canal that has the ability to push that earwax deeper, it's the wrong way to clean your ears. This includes Q-tips, also that cute little tool you can buy online that looks like a corkscrew. Those things just push the wax, especially when it's seriously impacted, down towards the eardrum and makes people like me have to work harder to get that wax out. Other things that people do is they'll use wax softening drops such as Debrox or even something as simple as olive oil to help to get the wax out of their ears. Now this isn't necessarily a bad thing. However, you do need to know these drops and olive oil do not remove wax. All they do is soften it. Once you soften it, you do need to irrigate or rinse out the ear to get both the drops and or olive oil out of the ear as well as the softened wax. So that's not a removal method as much as it is a softening method. Finally, people talk about putting hydrogen peroxide in your ear. Well, I mean, it works. It'll dry up that earwax and cause it to be a little bit more flaky, but it can also dry the skin in your ear canal and cause some other issues. Once your ear canal is clean, once you know there's no wax in it, the best thing that you can do is let a little water go in and out of your ear as you take a shower. That's going to help to rinse any of the surface wax off, especially in the outer one third of the ear canal, and allow you to use the epithelial migration or the natural ear cleaning of your body. Yes, your ears are self-cleaning. Let it do its job. If you're letting that epithelial migration carry the dirt, debris, and earwax out and you're not cramming it further down there, your ears will stay fairly clean with minimal maintenance by you. A little bit of water as you take a shower cures a lot of ills. All right, so without any further ado, let's get into earwax removal vlog number 90 and watch as we remove earwax from these three patients' ears. Our first patient is no stranger to the Q-tip game. As we look down the ear canal, you can actually see the indentation of the end of the Q-tip and indeed possibly some fibers from that Q-tip embedded in the wax. We're going to use the curette to go down the ear canal alongside this earwax and slowly and gently pull that wax out, revealing a healthy appearing ear canal and ear drum. That's a decent sized chunk of wax. Now let's take a look back in that ear canal. Beautiful ear drum. Our second patient is yet again another avid Q-tipper. You can see on this first ear, the wax is pushed all the way back to the eardrum. We're going to indeed use the Q-tip to gently coax the wax away from the ear canal wall and away from the eardrum. This slow movement of the wax allows us to get it out with minimal discomfort and feeling to the patient and also allows us to get a good clear view of the eardrum. You can see that it kind of stuck together as a large clump, and there it is next to the paper towel. That is just a giant chunk of wax that was all the way down on the eardrum. It appears to have left just a little bit behind. Now let's take a look at the same patient on the other side. You see minimal wax on this side. Just a little ring adhered to the outside of the ear canal. That's no big deal. Just a little bit of cleanup takes care of that issue. Our final patient of the day is truly a Q-tipper. You are seeing not only the wax down there, that darker coloration lets us know it's been there for quite a while, but you're also seeing quite a bit of ear hair. Yes, your hairs grow longer and longer in your ears as you get older. 
but that wax stayed together in a big chunk and gave us a great view of the eardrum. So flipping over to the other side, we see the same problem. This wax has been in there for a while. It's pretty dark in coloration, definitely a hard chunk of wax, which we're going to get to move and hopefully give us the same clear view of the eardrum. Let's see what happens as we use the curette and get the wax gently pulled out. As we look back down, another great view of the eardrum and a successful wax removal. I love it when a plan comes together and we're able to get huge chunks of wax out of patients' ears. All of these wax removals were extremely satisfying to do and I'm glad I got to bring them to you in this video today. If you like these wax removal videos, take a moment to like and subscribe. It really does help me get these videos in front of more people and it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Also, if there's any other topics that you want to see in these videos, put a note in the comment section. And yes, I know someone's gonna do it, so I'll just own up to it. Clearly, I went back to short hair. Go ahead and tell me whether you like the short hair or the long hair. I can take it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.